So the class coming up, Mindful Joy, uh, is a is a beautiful opportunity to practice mindfulness. And when you practice mindfulness, your whole world starts to open up for you, and because you become mindful with everything you're doing. And so even little things like just walking somewhere or eating and taking food and from the plate and putting it up to your mouth. You can take the, the things that you've learned from practicing mindful drawing into everyday activities and those activities become help put you into the moment into the present moment where, where we live, where we spend too little time actually because we're very concerned about the future and we are continually recounting past memories, past memories. And so this, this drawing class will really help you to practice mindfulness in a, in a really deep way. And that's why I'm, I chose to do it. And I have myself been practicing, trying to be mindful in my life for many, many years. I began meditating many, many years ago and continue to meditate to this day. And, and it's uh, been a very uh, important part of my life experience is to be, is to be uh, learning to be present in the moment. Yeah. So, uh, one of the things I would like to do is, before I start is to, is to show you a, a model that I like to use for, for the drawing class. I'm going to go to my other camera right now. And it is uh, this. I've already done the diagram here so you can see this. This is a diagram. And so here, so we have D, C, E, and L. D is the drawing. B is the drawing that you make when you're going to make a drawing. And CE is the create your creative experience. And the creative experience involves being present, being mindful. It also involves seeing, very, very important. And I like to think of it involving play, enjoyment and fun. And I always tell people when they draw, they should smile, relax and breathe and stay present. So my, my idea here is that when we draw, if we are down here, being in moment, creating experience for ourselves in the now, we're not thinking about how the drawing is going to be coming out. We are enjoying the process of making the drawing. And that's what this class is about. It's about learning to enjoy the process of making the drawing. And then if we do that, we continue to learn and grow in our experience and become more accustomed to being in our now in our creative experience. And these two learning and the creative experience together reinforce each other. And they both are they both then of course will be reflected in the kind of drawing that you do when you're when you're finished making the drawing. But too many people, when they draw, they're interested in the, the drawing, the final product, and they forget about all of this, which is the most important part of the drawing experience. And so that's what this class mindful drawing will be about. It'll be about that, about creating experience for yourself in the moment. And what I thought I would do today is show you some of the drawings that I made during the last time I taught this class. And I have a I have a number of drawings here. And so I'm going to just show them to you and we'll go through them. So one thing that we are going to do is we're going to be drawing faces, some faces. And this is a that's a face we did in the in the, in the class. I'm not saying that we're going to do these same faces for the class, but we may, but I, I don't know. There's another one that, that I, we did for the class and we, and we do the bird. We did this bird and we did this fish. And then, and then we did this flower and we did the, um, 
And then we did a, a number of different insects. I, I'm, I'm going to give you a page of insects, of photographs of insects, and, and we're, going to, uh, we're going to draw some of those insects. And these are some of the insects we did. They weren't all done in one class. These were done during a number of different classes. These, these different, all these different insects. And then this is another uh, exercise that we, we may do. I have done this in another class also, so we may do that. And then we also uh, learn these, to do these, um, these simple mindful exercises where we're working in circles. And then here's some in squares, so different things that we're going to be doing there. So we're going to be doing a lot of things like that. And then another thing we'll be doing is, is drawing to music and all kinds, of, all kinds of wonderful things. So what I thought I would do today is I thought I would uh, do a drawing here of uh, this guy. And I was talking to, uh, to Allie about this and I just realized I've already done a drawing of this guy. So I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to do this one here that I, that I, I'm going to do this, this guy here, which I haven't done. This one here, I, I will show you the one I did in the mindful class. I did this drawing of that guy. You can see that one. So we did, I did that in the mindful class. We may do that man in the class. We'll see if I decide to do that or not, or have somebody new. But I think today we're going to do this, this fellow. I thought that would be, it might be fun to do something new, something different. Um, and I just, I found him, I found this man this morning on the internet. And I, I was telling Ali, I just go to Google and I ask Google to, to give me some interesting faces. And this is one that they gave me. So I thought that was an interesting face. And so I think that's what we're going to do today. And so, so to just to, just to just so you understand what, what we're doing here, I'm I'm putting myself into trying to put myself into a moment. I'm lo noticing that I have something on the back of these sheets of paper, so I'm gonna maybe get maybe not use maybe not use them. I don't like to draw on pages that I have. Split where I have something behind. So here we go. Okay. All right, so I'm going to draw on this piece of paper here and then put a, put a backing piece of paper behind it because when I do this uh, drawing with the ink, I, often it soaks through the paper. So. So as I take the ink over here and I bring the ink over here, this is part of the mindful experience. You just taking the ink and, and then taking the cover and taking it off. This is all being mindful of everything we're doing, trying to be mindful of putting the ink top of the bottle down, being mindful of picking up my, my wooden skewer. And then looking at this portrait here of this gentleman and deciding where I'm going to put things on the paper here. So I, his hat's going to be here somewhere like that and his eyes are here and his nose and then his, his beard and stuff is down here like that. Let's try and fit him all on. I'm probably going to try and make him just a bit smaller than I have here. So now I'm going to just go dip in my ink and I'm going to start drawing. And I like to start I like to start drawing from a detail. I don't start from the large silhouette and fill in. I always start from a detail. So I'm going to start right here from his eyebrow. And we're going to go and put his eyebrow in. And so I'm drawing with a wooden skewer. We're going to have these in the class. We're also going to be using in the class a calligraphy pen like this. And we're also going to be using these precise V5 pens. So there's that. And then we're going to go here to his eye. And the 
eye is very important with his the iris in his eye. And that, and I'm going to also put some of these marvelous creases that he has from the sun, from a life well lived. And bring it over here now to this, his brow. <coughs> I'm just looking at the lines and I'm enjoying the process now of creating this drawing and just always trying to be mindful of, of what I'm doing. I'm, I'm connecting to the imagery that I'm seeing and I'm drawing it. If you notice how I'm getting different size line weights with this skewer. It's, very, it's a very simple tool to draw with. I don't know anybody else who does this, but I have discovered and I, I try different things and it's, I really like these wooden skewers. I think they are a beautiful instrument to draw with. You can see how I'm putting in those creases. So let's go over here and Start working on this other eye here. Bushy eyebrows. Very, very dark, so I have to use a lot of ink. And this ink that I'm using is a water soluble ink. Some of you have had glasses with me and we've used this ink before. So I know these, you're familiar with it. And now I'm going to bring, come down with the nose a little bit here and then put his, let's see, I think I have that, that. Okay, so then this is going to be his, the iris of his eye here. And there's the eye there, like that. So let's get this nice and, nice and dark in here. Because there's the other eye. And then. So, Allie, I think if anybody has a question, they could unmute themselves and ask me a question if they have a question about what we're going to do in the class. And I can talk while we're doing this. Sounds great. So, yeah, if you have a question, just unmute and please ask. Yeah. And now his nose. Ah, um, so Gail, the class um, starts, let's see here. It is on February 3rd. It's on, it's four weeks on a Wednesday. I'm actually gonna link it right now to the chat. Sorry about that. Yeah, it starts next week. Next week, uh, two to 3.30 in four weeks. That's for four weeks and we're gonna have a different different exercises each week and you'll love it. Very, very wonderful experience for you. Give yourself Robert, a gift. Robert, Robert, when you, um, when you create art, do you do it? Like, do you listen to music? Do you, I do, I do, you... Not, I do not usually listen to music. Mm. I did when I was younger, but I don't anymore. I like I like it to, I like to be silent when I'm when I'm painting and drawing I like I like silence. Mm -hmm. By the way, I will tell you this I I've, I've just finished a a new book. I think t some of you may know about it. I I I had written a book of uh verses and uh, drawings. And I'm, and it's going to be, uh, it'll be coming out this spring. So you watch for my, my emails. Everybody who takes classes with me is going to be on my, on my list. So 
for an email, so you will get an email from me if you've taken a class with me. So you see how I've got now his, his eyes and his nose, and uh, probably haven't gotten nearly en as enough of his creases, but so good so, so far. Anyway, this new book is called A Book About Nothing and Other Tips on Telling Topics. And it's uh, a book that I've been working on for the last 30 years. And it has over 100 verses. And uh, it's, uh, I think it's gonna, you're going to enjoy it a lot if you see it. So notice I'm getting his mustache in, and I'm trying to use the edge of this blunt end in my skewer to get these lines from his mustache. I want to get the I want to get the movement of the mustache. Now I'm going to go here and put in his where his lips come together right here. You see that? And then it goes, kind of goes up here like that. I'm going to go a large line here, like the skewer like that. There we go. And I'm going to do, you know, my skewer doesn't have very much ink on it right now, so I'm going to just go up here and put a few more of these scraggly mustache hairs. And then I'm going to dip some air and I get some very, very dark right here. Is this a class that would be good for all levels, even beginner? Yes, all levels. All levels, yes. Thank you. Yep. So as you see, how I'm putting dark against light, that's something we want to learn as we draw to learn to do that. And just a few, just a few little indications over here of little of things that are happening. They come down, and then his his beard comes down like that. So I don't need to. I should look at my time. We've got ten more minutes. So so let's see. We got um, a nice dark area right in here. I want to put that in. And some more lines for whiskers and beard hairs. I can get the shape of his beard. I see a nice little curly down, curly cue down here, and I put that in. And you see how my stick is, when my stick is um, almost devoid of ink, I can still get lines, very light lines. So we get a nice variety of line weights. With the stick, get some more darks up in here. Nice darkness in here. So I will work on this until the half hour is finished. And if I don't finish, uh, that's okay. So drawings can be interesting at any point, at any stage. The main thing is that we are enjoying the process of, of seeing, noticing. So I'm going to put some more in here. Like that. I'm going to keep this really light over here because it's very, very light. A white beard. Don't want to get too carried away. Okay, I'm going to go back up here now to these dark shadows on his face up here. Let's see how we're doing. At at 2:25, I'm going to stop and I'm going to I'm going to start adding some water to this, and you'll see what happens when we do that. So now I'm going to do his hat. And 
then I have the hat comes over like this, doesn't it? So I'm going to just take the, the blunt end and I'm going to really just blacken that in quickly with the blunt end of the skewer. And then there's another dark area up here like this. And then this hat comes up like that. Right? And then it comes over here like so. And the neat thing about working with the uh, ink is that you don't ever have to worry about erasing anything. So you're, you are constantly in the process of making the drawing and you forget about entirely about not being happy. You're just, you're happy all the time because you're just drawing. You don't have to be, you don't have to be doing it a certain way or it doesn't have to be coming out a certain way that you want it to. You're just having a wait and see attitude and just drawing as you go along. And then when you finish the drawing, you'll see what you get. And until then, you're enjoying the process. So I'm going back in the back of his ear now where it's really dark back here. So his ear pops out and there's some more, some hair here in the back of his hat, right like that. And some more hair coming out here like that. And maybe his jacket there. And some more beard hairs. Let's see, we're almost 224. I said I would stop at 225 and start putting in some some washes. So I'm trying to have a, a very close relationship between my lines and what I'm seeing. So my lines are indicating the experience I'm having with my eyes. I think I'll just stop there and I'll put the cover back on the ink. Let's see, could I have a, do I get enough lines up in here? Maybe not quite enough from here. Just put just a couple more things up in here. It's kind of dark up in here. There we go, like that. Okay, let's put the top back on the ink mindfully and take our brush and our water. And now we'll just add a few, a few, uh, brush strokes with some with some water. Robert, one question that came up is um, how do you decide which things to draw and which to skip? Oh, oh, that's a good question. Well, I, I draw. Oh, man, I don't I don't know how to to say um, to answer that question really is it's a it's a matter of drawing I drawing what I want what I'm what I want to draw and skipping what I don't want to draw. I don't know how to answer that in a way that I don't think there's a way to say, well, this is the way you do it in all cases. You have to decide how you're doing. Now I'm noticing that I'm not getting a lot of wash from these lines. I'm getting some but not a lot. Well that's all right. It, it depends on the paper we're using and we have to use a, a paper that allows us to get good uh, good washes. So I'm using this now I'm going to go there and then I'm going to go just I'm not going to 
just cover the whole thing. I'm just going to carefully draw. So this is, yeah, so I'm carefully drawing these shadows here, uh, leaving white spaces in there. And I want to leave that white space on his nose. So yeah, I'm, where I where I see it dark, I'm making it dark. Where I see it light, I'm leaving it light. And I have, I always say if if it's light, leave it white. So if it's light, I'm going to leave it white. Let me come down here and do a little bit more here. If we go over a couple of minutes, is that okay, Ali? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. There. And I'm gonna get a little, some tone on his eye there. This is too white right there. Okay, and then and then on the down on the tip of his nose, and then back here some more. And then right here. And and I look for opportunities to put light against dark. That's one thing that helps me to decide. So so you can see as I'm adding as I'm adding some water to this, that it uh, it does change does change the uh, the drawing a bit as we do that. I bet it's fun watching me do this. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, it must be fun watching this happen on the paper. Huh? Yeah. So let's get some tone down in here with a brush. And then let's close very quickly, and that will help make the make the beard come forward. I'm gonna get some right underneath the nose here. So I just took a little bit of little bit of ink from uh, a dish that I have here that I can use if I need it to get a little bit more dark. I can use that. And then this here. Okay, now a little bit on his mouth here. That's my, those are my spam calls you're hearing there. Can't help it. It's the, what happens these, these days. Now, I'm going to put just a little bit of tone here in that lower lip. And then a little bit underneath like that. Try to keep that kind of light right there. Maybe just a little bit on the edge here. Very important to have that, I think, that, that light there. So, and then just get some more sh shading in the, in the beard here. I can do more of that later, but you get the idea. And then there is a, there is a, um, a jacket that comes down here. I can put that in. Like that. I should actually make a line to do that. I skewer and just go like that. There we go. And that's another way to draw by putting the water down first and then putting the lines in afterwards. You can do that too. But anyway, some more like that. That pretty pretty much shows what we did, I didn't finish his hat, but I can do that later. But you get an idea of how quickly this goes. We did all this in about, what, 15, 20 minutes. And what fun. Robert, I just want to jump in to say that um, I see that many people um, signed in late. I, I'm worried that they um, came, they saw the, um, the mistake in last week's email saying this started at 2.30 when this actually started at 2. So my apologies for that. Uh, but what I've done is I've recorded this meeting and I will uh, I will put it onto Pal's YouTube page right tomorrow. So if you want to watch it again, you can go to um, our YouTube, um, just type in Pacific Art League or go through our website and you'll find the recording there. 
So, Ellie, about what time uh, uh, will it be up? Um, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll try to work on it today. Just, it usually takes me about an hour to get it up, to okay. edit it and get it up. Okay. But I'll well, try to do it as quickly as possible. So how about that? Okay, thank you. How about I make a promise right now that I will have okay. it up by tomorrow morning. You can't ask for more than that. I didn't, there's a line right there that I didn't put in. And there's a line coming down like that. There's a line here. I didn't put those lines in in his nose before, did I? Anyway, anyway, there you go. There's, there's this gentleman, my interpretation of that photograph. And you see how that was, how that was done and how we do it piece by piece. There's a expression that I heard on NPR the other day, and it's probably a familiar one that you've heard is the cinch by the inch and it's, and it's hard by the yard. So when we do this, we kind of one inch at a time and it's a cinch by the inch. And so that's what we did today. And thank you for watching. And I hope you can join the class and have some fun with me.